Hello and welcome. Please pause this video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's start by reading the problem together. It asked, it asked us which function has the same y-intercept as the graph below. So remember, um, with any graph, you've got here a y-axis right, that we're dealing with here, and you've got, an, of course, an x-axis. And here we're dealing with a line that actually intersects both. So let's color this line in here with green. There we go. All right, so if we look at this line, we can see that it crosses both axes, and it crosses the y-axis here at this point, and it crosses the x-axis here. So we call those points where the line, the green line, intercepts the axis, the intercept. So this point, because it intersects the y-axis, is the y-intercept. And this point right here, because it crosses the x-axis, is the x-intercept. And let's see what those points are. So the y-intercept, we go, we're going down 3 on the y-axis, and it's 0 on the x-axis, so it's 0, comma, negative 3. That's the point, and we usually would write b equals negative 3. b is the variable we use for the y-intercept. And then for the x-intercept, that point looks like about 1 and a half, 0, right? Let's say that's about right, so 1 and a half, 0. So the x-intercept, let's say we use the variable a, it would be 1 and a half. So we're looking for uh, the equation here that has a y-intercept also of negative 3. Now, uh, perhaps the quickest way I recognize the answer is, and it is choice 4, is by converting into what's called y equals mx plus b format. So to get that format, we literally isolate y and then place the other terms in a similar order. And here y is almost isolated. It's, we just were adding 3 to it on the left side. So to fix that, to isolate y and to read in mx plus b format, we subtract 3 from both sides. And then y equals 6x minus 3. And what this means, essentially, uh, the m value is our slope. And the b value is our y-intercept. And I like this form because it's, it's so easy to read. Because this number here, 6, that's your slope. Boom, there it is. m is 6. And the y-intercept is negative 3. We include that negative sign there. So I recognize that this one also has a y-intercept of negative 3. If you're not convinced of that, or if you want another technique, what you can always do is plug in x equals 0 into any of these functions. If you plug in x equals 0, what you will find is the y-intercept. And that's because all y-intercepts um, have an x-value of 0, right? If you think about it, any point on the y-axis, right, we have to have an x-value of 0. It can't move right or left. It has to be on the axis itself. So you always see a point where it's 0, comma, something. So we can find it algebraically by plugging in 0 to each of these functions. I'll leave it to you to, to try that for all of them. I'll just show it for the choice. That's the answer, which is choice 4. So in choice 4, y plus 3 equals 6x. So suppose we plug in x equals 0. Watch how we find the y-intercept. If we do that, y plus 3 equals 6 times 0. And 6 times 0, of course, is just 0. And y plus 3 is 0. So the question is, what plus 3 is 0? Well, that's negative 3. And there we can see we found the same y-intercept of negative 3. All right, hope this helps.